Okay, can everybody hear me? <coughs> Let me know if you can hear me and see the screen. Um, any quick questions here? Hog is the best gap. I uh, mean, I just don't review gaps before we trade. I've never done it, so we're just not doing that. If you have questions, you can ask me after we're done trading, but I have to focus on what we're doing here before the open. The idea is that you rate it and I rate it. If you don't get the same rating, you can ask me questions when we're done. <coughs> I'm not going to be talking a lot today. I'm just letting you know. <coughs> so GME is the second watch. Hog is the best. And Brent, I don't know what you're talking about. This is plenty of volume. <coughs> Galahad, you killed this option yesterday, and it just proves my point even more, even though I mean, I just don't know what to say anymore. You don't have a trading plan, you don't have money management, and uh, I mean, you're just going to lose if you don't listen to me, and you keep saying you listen to me, but you don't listen to me. So, you arbitrarily killed this, close strong, we're gapping up today, it just, you know, I don't know what to say to you anymore, Galahad. <clears throat> <coughs> At some point, you have to face that the mistakes that you're making, Galahad. I, I, I mean, I just, I just don't know why you don't want to do it. I don't know what's so difficult about listening to me. I really think that's very easy actually listening to me <coughs> and it's easy even to make a trading plan say I'm gonna risk this much every trade here's my stop actually I'm gonna put this GME in the middle here just in case for some reason hog does not set up questions <coughs> I'm sorry I'm coughing so much but there's nothing I can do <coughs> this is very spready extremely spready Isn't open yet. Okay. Hog is not open yet. Oh, it still isn't open. Alright, while well, I'm watching GME, Hog isn't open yet. Stop's going to be 55 if this sets up, and I don't know where that is yet, where it's going to set up. I'll go back to Hog in a minute, but it's still not open. <clears throat> Uh, 
Okay, we can do 12 by 55 if it hits GME. And I'll go look at hog in a minute, but unfortunately. Okay, this is valid if it hits. 12 by 55. Here, do it. Get in it right now. I put the stop in at 55 GME. Be in it. Here, here it goes. And the first target, which should be 11.75. Let me just look at this hog. No, wow. Here, thank God we watched, had something else to watch. Here, GME. <coughs> 11.75. Here it goes, here it goes. Here it goes right now. Nice call. Feels like your enemies here, though. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Nice call. Yeah, I'm going to get better so badly. Okay, let's just, just let that drop. Let me just look at this other one here. This is ridiculously spready. Holy crap, look at that. No way am I touching that. And the market's higher. And this is just very messy, which which is typical of hog. This this could even go on to work here, but I'm not doing it. Here, <coughs> very nice call, and I hope everyone got it. Just let it keep dropping, and then we're going to get out. Try to see if it breaks. Here it goes. You could you could be out here. I'm trying to give it a little bit more, just a tad, just a baby. Here, da, 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 da. hand of the button, everybody. Come on, you can do it. <clears throat> You can get out here, but I think it's going to keep going just a little bit. It's totally, totally up to you. But everyone's hand should be on the button here soon. Ooh. Wow, did you just see that? I think it's going to keep going. But you can do whatever you want. Here, that's what I wanted. Out, out, perfect, beautiful trade. But it probably keeps going. So it's really probably gonna keep going, but that, that could be the morning exit. Excellent job. Gosh, I wish I wasn't sick. But it's not affecting my trading, apparently. <coughs> uh, Jasmine, you should have done this. If you're asking about hog, I don't know why, because I don't think anyone should do this. I don't think anyone should do this at all. If you did this trade, you don't need anything else. Your goal is in for the day. And, uh, and I'm not saying hog goes. But I'm saying it. this is how this stock trades. It's very, very wild. <coughs> so I wouldn't be surprised if it kept going then. Um, I can, I'm going to talk for a few minutes and then really we're going to be done for the day because I don't want to talk long here because of my voice. Um, is anyone still in this? I wouldn't be.
Jackie. Hopefully you did good today. <coughs> Stephen, you have been oversizing yourself. What did you do with this today? Did you size yourself normal or did you oversize yourself? You made $680. Did you do the right thing here or did you go hog wild? You, well, normal means that you're risking a lot. But I mean, I thought you said you were going to stop doing that. I thought you were going to cut your risk back, Stephen. <coughs> I don't think $800 is conservative or $900 or whatever you got filled. I don't think that's conservative at all. <coughs> that's not a conservative risk. Um, no, $800 is an advanced risk. But again, I'm tr I try to help some of you, but you don't have to listen to me, but I think that you should. I wouldn't be looking for any more trades. We just, I just did everything perfect here. I mean, we couldn't have been any more perfect than we were. And also the market could try to hold in here this morning, yet SPY looks stronger than the Qs, but either way, market looks like it's going to attempt to hold today. <coughs> Chris, did you have it available? Maybe you didn't have it available to short. I don't know. You have to call the broker. Catherine, was this your first trade? Catherine just did the class 797. That's good. And Jackie made 753. I still think this keeps going. <coughs> I just wouldn't do anything else. So, Canty's first trade too. And Jasmine made twelve fifty. Very good. If you want to retake it, it's really a kamikaze here. You could short it here if you want, but I'd really put the stop at twelve fifty five where we originally had it. So it'd be a basically sixty cents. This could go to eleven dollars at some point today, but I can't say it happened in the morning. And I really don't even feel like you should be tight with the stop. But if you want to be in this for another hour, you could put it at 12.55, short it here, see if it goes to 11. I just don't think there's any reason to do any other trades. We had the move, we got the move, and the market could go either way here. <coughs> oh, Catherine, I thought that was your first trade. Mimi, you should have made money. Did you make money or did you not make money? made $111. That's good. I think that you need to talk to your broker about the ECNs you have set up for your hotkeys or however you're taking the trades because it sounds like you had a problem with that last week. It sounds like you may have a problem with that while you're getting in trades too late. <coughs> no, I did not look at a Verizon. Why? <laughs> what happened with Verizon? <coughs> I didn't see this gapping, but it's falling. I don't think there's anything to do here. <coughs> um, what do you want to go over? I really would just stop for the day, people. I'm glad we didn't do this. And this is just very messy. So everybody got it, everyone should be up, okay? Any questions? So Galahad, you have to really, I think, I think you really have to decide if you wanna get serious about your trading because you just don't have any money management. I don't think you should have gotten out of this trade yesterday if you held it through Friday, but you did. So, I mean, if Apple ends up gapping up in the earnings, this is going to run again a second time. And if Amazon gaps up Thursday night, this is really going to run by Friday. So, I mean, you just took a loss. You didn't need to yesterday. 
you know, I think you should focus on your day trading, honestly, Galahad, and stop doing options because your expectations for options trades are too high and you can't enter a trade and exit a trade the same day the way you have your account set up. I think I said last year that I thought you should focus on day trading. You didn't want to do it. And I think when you're here in the room, me directing you, you do better with the day trades. Your expectations for the options are too high and you're not reading the charts right. And so then you're making arbitrary decisions based on no money management. If you didn't get out of this trade, you'd be taking a big loss. No, you wouldn't. If that's the case, then guess what? Poor money management, you risk too much in the trade. You should never say that if you lose in one trade, you're taking too big of a loss. That was my point to Stephen last week. Stephen got hurt in something last week, and then he ended up telling me that he's risking you know, $1,000 a trade, which he did today. It worked out, but I don't think you should be doing that if you're not comfortable with the risk. If $500 or whatever you risked in this was too big of a loss, then you should never have risked it. <laughs> so it's just as simple as that. And honestly, you were up in this on Friday and you didn't get out. I mean, there's no explanation that you can give me to actually act like anything that you're doing is correct because there's just nothing that you're doing is right. I think you should focus on day trading because if you did this trade today, you made money. I'm making good calls. If you're here with me, you do the quick trades, you get out. It's profits. You're not doing the right things with the options. You're, you're just not. And you're risking too much. <coughs> um, Maine wants to go over this trade. We'll go over this and then we're going to call it a day. Does anyone else have any other questions before we go over this?